Friends, welcome to Video Riff 7. I come to you with the hay fever from the blooming ragweed. Is there a plant ever been more aptly named? I'm not sure. Certainly that one is aptly named. Um, I've got this song up. On the beginning of the, some of the VH lessons, um, this thing I wrote called Tone Junkie, I did a long time ago. And uh, it sports a few things that I like about Eddie. Number one, the sound. Um, number two, the way he plays the chords. And uh, number three, what I want to say is that I did this, there's a couple of versions of this. I did this uh, with one guitar, right? So that f leaves me free, because usually you double the guitars, one on each side. That leaves me free to mess around in the middle of the song, right? So a lot of this is just improvised, and I would just get the best take that I could possibly get with it. And so... Uh, a lot of the chords are not exactly like possibly the version you have where I may have played it live without the guitar and played it live to videotape. But uh, I'll tag these, I'll tag the one, I'll tag my favorite version on the end of this. You'll just see a black screen and the song will play, which is going to make the file long, which means i got to hurry up and blab right now. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you is I'm just going to hit the high points with the guitar, okay? Uh, I have my, my warmathon because it's tuned to drop D. And this guitar has a boingy sort of tone that's hard to explain. It, it sort of boings, right? But uh, and I also have my microphone uh, set on a volume knob, and you will hear me. Will fade back in. Uh, this is the uh, trouble of doing this yourself, is you have to have all this stuff working. You'll hear it's making a lot of noise too. It's the microphone. I'm going to shut it off when I uh, shut it off the board when I. Uh, when I start playing these riffs. I'm just going to hit the high points. Just going to hit the high points, okay? There's a lot of things that uh, he does that I like that are incorporated into this uh, thing. First off, he uses the palm of his hand to hit. This is like a combination of uh, Mean Streets and uh, Running With The Devil and a couple of other things that he does. Um, drop D, half step down. Um, I miss my trusty Wayne, I'll tell you something. Uh, this guitar is cool. This guitar has a cool sound, though, but, man... It's kind of weird to play now because of the scallop. But he lays his hand. I keep saying, if you want to sound like Eddie, play like Eddie. Well, check it out. Now, when I'm hitting that chord, I'm hitting it with the palm of my hand right here, the edge of my hand, and I'm brushing over it and leaving my hand just sort of laying there, and that is a key to a ton of his stuff. Also, in Running With The Devil, you hear him, you hear him do stuff like this. Right, but it's very, man, it's so subtle and it's so cool. Uh, anyways, I'm blabbing and blabbing and blabbing like I always do. I want to get to this uh, this song right here. There's also a delay on it that's not on here. See, the thing is, too, is I'm improvising a lot of that stuff. That riff right there, that was all just a big, fat improvisation, right? And so I transcribed that particular riff because I liked it, and I transcribed a couple other things. Notice on the uh, before I get started uh, on the uh, tablature, um, I just hit the high points. Ignore, ignore for the most part, ignore the timing because it's uh, half-note triplets and blah, 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 and I wanted to shove as much of it on that one-page piece of tablature as I could. Okay, so let's check this thing out.
Well, I know that's not the whole thing, but I want to get the. I want to play the my version. My version is cooler than the one I heard that the, was posted on the forum. Um, so I'm going to tag it on to the end here and let, just let the whole thing play out. I, I, there's no time on these little vignettes here to get the whole song on there for you. I played a whole song, um, but there's a solo at the end, and it's a lot of fun and blah blah blah. But um, the point is, if you really if you really want to know it, it's really simple. It's D. The whole, so the whole song's tuned down half a step, then it's tuned to drop D. It's D major, C, B flat, G, F, C. Okay, that's, a, that's a, an inversion of an ordinary old country C chord. And then this is a G, suspended fourth, then A, an inversion of a D. It's like a B minor 7, right? Then an F, then a G again, that is a B minor 7, then there's the other thing about this thing is trying to get it to play in tune, and that's a D minor 7, literally, but since all the fourths are, since it's like closely voiced, it sounds really cool. The other thing, the other problem with this is to... Um, that's pretty well in tune, makes the B a f B flat, major thirds are flat. And so when you play this chord, this G voice like this, those that fifth is flat, so you have to bend it up. This is a very Eddie Van Halen thing. You have to bend that D note up on the G chord here to get it to play in tune. So it's like key to getting the whole thing cool. You have to bend that B note up a little bit. All right? I'm going to tag this thing on the end um, so you can hear the version I like of it. Like I said, I improvised it. I did a lot, man, 10 years ago. Easy. Um, I'm sorry I can't get more of it on here for you guys. And until next time, I'm Kurt Mitchell with my hay fever from the ragweed, and I will see you later. Okay?